Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Supreme Road 2030. Russia Conquest is finally here. For my loyal and old Supreme Lord fan base, you might remember my first ever Let's Play like 10, 11 years ago, back on Supreme Lord 2020 with Russia. Russia Conquest. And let me tell you, that brings back memories and if you go back to those old Let's Plays from 10, 11 years ago, you can hear the social anxiety that I used to have, the cringe in my voice. It was my very first time doing a Let's Play, and <laughs> as I called myself during that, commentating or commentator. So, I'm going to try to recreate and say what I said back in Supreme Lord 2020 when I first started Russia Conquest. And it went something like this. <clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome to Supreme Ruler 2020 Gold Let's Play. For the first time, I was doing commentary. Hooray. And that's all I can remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to one of these days uh, do a reaction to my old Supreme Ruler videos. I don't know if I want to do that on YouTube or on Twitch. It'll make much more sense if I did it on stream though, live. And I actually did that. Quite a while back, like a year ago, a reaction to my to some of my Supreme Lord videos, but I think I want to do that again properly, just because Supreme Lord 2030 just released yesterday. I made a video so you can check that out. This is the first ever Let's Play. I know that you guys want to get into the the action already, but you know me, I have things to explain, so I'm gonna try my best to explain as quick as possible. You guys just want to see the gameplay. Uh, the action, the war, I understand. But I just got done streaming on Twitch. There's a link below to watch my past broadcast. I was playing as Greece and annexing some of the nations like North Macedonia, Albania, Serbia. So I'm doing a Greece Let's Play on Twitch and you can check that out on my stream in case you missed it. So you can follow me on Twitch and thank you so much if you support, if you follow me, if you subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much. Today is the day where I restart my YouTube channel with Supreme Ruler content. However, starting tomorrow, I will be gone to a convention. As much as I want to stream and upload Supreme Ruler 2030 videos, I will be gone until like next Monday or Tuesday. The game released on the wrong date when I have to leave somewhere. <laughs> so uh, just don't expect that many videos while I'm gone. Nonetheless, I just wanted to uh, shoot out a Supreme Ruler video today, and with that, Russia Conquest. So here we are. 10... Yeah, like 10, 11 years later. Russia Conquest on 2030. <sighs> it just... It's nostalgic memories from 2020. Um, a couple of things, though, that I just learned from my stream a while back. I think... They were one of the uh, the creators, the developers at Battle Goat. I could be wrong, but if you go to Cabinet, you can change the region's flag, and you can obviously change or rename the region prefix. Russia, Russian. That's new. Oh crap! I re removed that. Whoops. Change the flag. This I was excited about. I do like this. I'm trying to add my own like flag in here. The Dominion of Emilia land, so I want to add that if I can. My own beautiful flag, which is like purple, yellow, has like a golden eagle, golden star on it. So I'm going to try to figure that out. And then there's also the search bar here that I also didn't notice. Much easier, was not available on Ultimate, so I can look up. Gosh dang it, what did I click? I clicked so many buttons now. Oh, goodness. There we go. Um, search. Search. Alright, I don't know what's going on, but I had to double click. It was buggy for a bit there. They're gonna have to fix that. Costa Rica. Portugal. Japan. Much, much easier. This is also the 2023 world scenario, not 2030. It already starts you off in the current 
conditions of their of in real world right now and i'm currently at war with ukraine so you guys want to see the gameplay so let's just get this started now a couple of things i am trying to save money on my treasury so i disabled all researched i have full control of my military i don't want the ai to control any of it um i do want to make an alliance with kazakhstan here so let's see if I can try to bribe a bit a bit of them. Let's give them like 1.1 billion dollars. Oh, I was trying to offer them a lot here. Really? You guys don't even want money? Oh, there we go. Request nothing. I'll give you 1.1 billion. Help a relations, Belarus. I want... <laughs> I do want a mutual defense. I want your help. Please. Oh my goodness! Back up! Changing the aspect of the war. Look, I got Belarus's help now with the mutual defense pact. Um, this might be a bit too loud, actually. Let me. I love the Russian theme song, though. One of my favorites. There we go. That should do. We got some fronts. We got a northern front. We got a southern front. Eastern front. I'm not going to do anything yet there. If you guys have any questions about Supremo 2030 or any suggestions, leave some in the comments below. Especially Versus. If you're looking forward to Versus, that'll be next week. I haven't thought of my first ever Versus yet. I'm just trying to focus on my Let's Plays. That being with Russia Conquest. And then one with the UK World Annexation. A new Mexican Empire. And then a... A unification of the European Union with Germany. Those are my four lined up Let's Plays. Oh, and then the one on Twitch. Please follow me on Twitch. I stream 90-95% of the time, so... I will be streaming more Supremo 2030 next week when I get back home. Because I'm making great and steady progress with Greece there. My little Greek empire. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Go to cabinet. Just because this is my first ever part of Russia Conquest. If I can find the Soviet flag. There it is. Is there an old Russian flag here too? It probably is. They have a lot of flags here. I want my flag to be included, Battle Goat. Please, if you're watching this, please include my, my Dominion of Emilia flag. And there you have it. Look. Our units have the Soviet flag. I love the little neat features there. I guess this is where the uh, the main front is happening right now. This is where it's going to take place. I'm not trying to open an un uh, a bunch of other fronts yet. Although I think I'll, I'll use a couple of units here in the southern front. My treasury is okay, 19.5 billion dollars. Belarus is opening up another front, I think. They're not no, they don't have any enemies yet, so it's fine. Thanks for the assistance, Belarus. It means so much. Yeah, just storm in. Take him out. Annihilate them. I don't know what that was. Units approaching our base. And this is why I prefer Supreme Ruler over any other strategy games. I could just dive in and just get straight to the action. And I know some people just don't like that but i just like the quick paced environment the quick paced action of supreme ruler where i just send my units where they need to go and just start battling out in the battlefield unlike hearts of iron that takes so much time uh europa a 
a bunch of other strategy games that I did not enjoy at all. They're just too slow paced, much more complex. I do not enjoy that. I am not the best strategy gamer in the world, but I am the best supreme ruler player in the world. <laughs> I like to bring that up. <laughs> supreme ruler is mine. I am the supreme ruler. Oh my goodness. It's taking off here, guys. It's taking off. It's happening. A lot is happening. Oh, it looks like the Eastern Front is being opened now, too, in the Donbass region. Alright, let's do it. There's no garrisons here. It looks like they're trying to surround my units here. Oh, and a huge shout out and thank you to all the people that commented or left comments in my video yesterday. It's been such a long time since I've got so many comments, so many likes, and so many viewers on that one video for the release video of Supreme Ruler 2030. So a huge, huge thank you to all of you that enjoyed and liked my video. I can understand that I do talk a lot, but that's just me. To each their own. I just have a lot to explain and talk about because it's just been such a long time uh, since I uploaded a Supreme Ruler video. And 2030 is definitely going to jumpstart and restart my channel for better things. We can call this Chapter 2 or Chapter 3, who knows. But I'm very hopeful that 2030 can uh, jumpstart my channel again. I can regain my old viewers, subscribers. Uh, followers on Twitch and even supporters that want to support my content. If you enjoy my content, please uh, leave a like, subscribe, support me somewhere. Patreon is still in the works right now. I got to figure that out. But um, thank you so much, guys. It means so much that you still enjoy my Supreme Ruler content to this day. And I'm coming back with fire and fury and redemption here. Oh, okay, I see. Belarus can handle that. Kharkiv. Alright, so this is like the Kharkiv Oblast right now. Ukraine is trying to push up over there. That's fine, I don't need to worry about them. Oh, they're surrounding my units down here south. It's not going well for me. What is this like the uh is this well close to the Kherson region? Donbass I'm holding steady here in the Donbass region. So many fronts being opened up now. Look at all that artillery. That hurts! Artillery! <laughs> artillery! My main weakness is artillery. I'm gonna have to take that artillery out though, it's hurting too much here. There we go, got it. Good, 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 good. Alright, we're so far so good. Check the stats. 214 unit kills, 85 unit losses. Not bad. How about Belarus? 69 unit losses. Lucky, unlucky. Oh, Battle Goat. If you're watching this, can you guys please give me the title of the official, unofficial VTuber of Battle Goat Studios on Discord? I'm not sure if you guys are watching this over there at Battle Goat, but <laughs> if you do watch this entire video, um, I obviously am a VTuber on Twitch, and I would love to be the official, unofficial 
say mascot VTuber of Battlegoat Studios. So I will really love that title if that can happen. I want to try to at least take Kharkiv here. Oh crap! Whoa, man. Wow. Retreat! Retreat! That dang on artillery. Wow. All right. I got to back out now. Yeah, I got to get out. Repair all units. I lost like 30 units there. The artillery is putting up a heavy, hefty firefight against me right now. And just to let you know, I obviously won't annex Ukraine in the first part. It's going to take like several parts, maybe one or two more parts to annex Ukraine, even with the assistance of Belarus. But Belarus is already having struggles over there. Can I get an alliance here with Kazakhstan, please? No, nothing yet. Why? How about I do this then? Mutual defense. I bribe you with some money. Wow, they really don't want to. Okay, I'll do that sometime later. It's already been like 17 minutes. Okay, well, I'm busy. I have to pack up and gather some things and shower, eat, because check my cosplays. I will be leaving tomorrow. Just a quick reminder, I will not be uploading any videos or streams until next Monday or Tuesday since I'll be gone for the convention. But if you enjoyed the first ever part of Russia Conquest 2030, leave some comments, leave some suggestions for verses, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch because that's where I mostly stream my stuff. And to all the people, my loyal fan base of Supreme Ruler, and to the newcomers, I thank you with a huge and open hug, open arms. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my content, and I hope you're here to stay for both my YouTube content and Twitch streams. Tell me what you think of the first part of Russia Conquest, and uh, <laughs> one of these days I'll do a reaction video to my old 2020 Russia Conquest videos. But other than that... No problems with 2030 whatsoever. Everything has been smooth, minus the occasional uh, lag and stutter. Every time you zoom in and zoom out, it does spike up there. But that's always happened in, like, Ultimate as well. But with updates and patches, that should fix as well. I haven't run across any, like, crashes or major problems in 2030. But the game is out on Steam right now for $40.00. Century Collection is $30, but that's because I had owned Ultimate already. So, final stats, 255 unit kills, 116 unit losses. Um, let's see, Ukraine, 190, 261. China has, w China has one unit kill. I wonder why. But okay, guys, um, this is it for the first part. I will continue the next part next week when I return back home. Um... I hope you guys enjoyed the first ever part of Russia Conquest 2030. And as always, subscribe, like, and I will see you all next week.